So for this quick trainer tip, we are going to discuss jump stops. Jump stops are just a name given to a trick in using Excel. So if you use the control up key and the control down key, the cursor will jump. So right here where my mouse pointer is, if I did control up, it would jump to the next difference, which would be this little character. And if I do it again, it would jump to this character. If I do it again, it would jump until it hits the next character. So it's a way to quickly jump up and down through your document, kind of like a bookmark. I tend to put it in columns A and F, and we're going to look at that in a minute. And I made them thin, and you'll see why. Uh, you can use an X character, or I like this little bullet type of a character, square bullet. But tip, you can really have some fun and use wingdings or webdings fonts, and you can come up with clever stops like a bomb icon for defects or a skull and crossbones icon, etc. Um, I tend to put a mark at the first row, 17, so I can jump to the top, and at the bottom row, 319, so I can jump to the bottom. I tend to use column A for tagging the section headers, and over to the right, I use column F for tagging or marking failing or block test cases. So as its status changes, I can still page up and down quickly to them and, and jump to the fails or the blocks for regression testing. So let's do a demo. Here we are in the test cases worksheet, and you'll notice that it came pre-filled with a little bullet dot there at test cases and one on the other side. Now if I hit control down, Boom, I jumped to the last row, 319, because in column F, I only have two of these little marks, one there at row 319 and one at row 17. Now, what if I had a mark down, oh, let's find something, something meaningful. Okay, the to-dos. Maybe I wanted to do T's for to-dos. Maybe I just wanted to do the start and the end. Okay, now if I'm up at the top and I control down, it jumps to the first to-do. Again, jump to the last to do, and one more time, I jump to the end. Control up, delete, control up, delete, control up, there. Now I'm at the top, control down, I deleted all the T's, I jump to the end. So that's how I use column F as a bookmark. Over here, I've pre-filled some out. Let's see what we have going on. Control down, I'm at the header, test cases, and move the mouse pointer to see. And in A, I'm gonna start jump, 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 and you'll watch me walk through the document. Jump down to the properties, uh, subheader, jump down, I'm at the test cases tab, jump down, I've gone to the test run log tab, jump down, row 85, jump down, row 105, jump down, last row. Jump back up. So you can see how quick it lets you work your way through the document. So that's just a little usage trick. Um, and you don't have to, if, if I want to do another bullet, since I have one, I just control C, and I can put one here, control paste, and then I can put two, actually, for those two, and I want to do three here, there. So in this case, I'm tagging all of my fails and blocks, and all I do is just copy the indicator, or maybe I don't like that. Maybe I want it to be an uppercase F, F, B, 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 and it tells me, oh, that's a block. And that way, if the status changes to, uh, oops, has to be an uppercase, let me correct that, T, 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 I remember, oh, those were fails and blocks on the last test cycle. And when I flip it, the test cycle to get ready to test the new stuff, I haven't lost that information. So that's another way that I use this column over here. Now for fun, let me pause. Okay, my screen's set up again. I've undone these. Let's say I don't like F over here. I want to be tricky. Well, you can do in Excel, insert symbol, symbol again, as long as I'm highlighting a cell. And now I can pick a font. So let's Pick a font, let's scroll to the bottom here, and let's do webdings should have something fun. Webdings. Uh, oh, there we go. So there's a bug. And insert, close. And there we go. Well, I have an F and a bug. Let me hit F2 and get rid of the F. And there's my little bug indicator. Man, you can barely see that. If I zoom in, you can see it. There you go. See, so if you want to have a bug, there you go. Now you have a bug.